The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first migration. In the middle of the fifth year of prophethood, giving punishments to the Muslims who were slaves or who were poor became very common amongst the public at that time. One day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Surah Zumar to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That surah gave out hints to the believers to migrate to a safe place. In the meantime, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam heard Abyssinia's king Negus or Najashi, who was a very good person and a good Christian ruler. So the Prophet permitted some of the Sahabas to move to Abyssinia, which was currently the country of Ethiopia. At first, there were twelve men and four women, including one of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's daughter and her husband with man peace be upon him it was during the month of rajab when one night they secretly started their journey across the red sea when the bad Quraysh leader heard about their escape they became very upset and started to search for them but it was already late those group of Muslims already left the boat to go to Ethiopia. That journey was very historic since it was the very first migration for Muslims. So a Christian country helped the Muslims at first? Yes, Muslims got their first help from a Christian country. After Ramadan came, Several great things happened. At that time, there was a religious get-together at the Kaaba. Suddenly, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and recited Surah Najm. The people were very amazed to hear such beautiful words and sentences formed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was the first time that they were very shocked by the Quran. Usually, they disturbed Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he would recite the Quran. But that day, they forgot everything and started to listen to the Quran. At one point, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam read Surah Najm, verse 62, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to lower their face and look down at the ground and accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God. Because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prostrated on the ground. After seeing Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam like that, without thinking, everyone started to lower their face on the ground. Immediately the non-believers realized what they had done was just a mistake. They became very embarrassed and upset after that event. Later, after that event, people used to laugh at their faces what they had done and that news spread everywhere. When the Ethiopian Muslims heard that good news, they thought that the bad Quraysh became good people. So they started their journey to go back to Mecca. But on their way, they heard the real story, which was that the Quraysh actually did not accept Islam. After realizing that they would not be safe in Mecca, some of them immediately returned to Abyssinia, or known as Ethiopia. But others secretly entered into the city. After that event, the torturing of the bad people got more and more worse. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw the Ethiopian people welcomed the Muslims in a very nice way. 
he advised more people to migrate to Abyssinia. This time it was very difficult to migrate from Muslims because the bad people were very careful to stop them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help was with the Muslims at all times. This time around 83 men and 19 women, so around 100 people migrated to Ethiopia. Alhamdulillah, some of the Muslims could escape from Mecca. Alhamdulillah, but that made the bad Quraysh very angry. So the Quraysh sent two very smart men named Amr and Abdullah. Since Amr and Abdullah were not Muslims at that time, they wanted to harm the Muslims. So, as soon as they got to Ethiopia, they were trying to convince the king to make the Muslims return to Mecca. The Quraysh thought if they gave the king lots of expensive gifts, that they could torture the Muslims once they got back to Mecca. So, after presenting all of the expensive gifts, they told the king that the Muslims were very bad because they rejected to worship the idols and started to worship the one and only God. They told the king that the Muslims escaped from Mecca to avoid their punishments. So, in order to face their punishments, they requested the king to force the Muslims to go back with them to Mecca. The King Najashi became confused at first. However, before making his final decision, he wanted to talk with the Muslims first. As an order of the king, the Muslims came to meet before him. The king asked them why they were not following their family's religion. And since Ethiopia was a Christian country, why was it that they did not become Christians since they were living there? One of the Sahaba, Jafar peace be upon him, who was Abu Talib's son and the brother of Ali peace be upon him, told the real reasons for their migration. He explained why they rejected the stone-made idols and started to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. And it was only because of that the bad Quraysh were punishing the Muslims in Mecca. He also explained that the Qur'an made them a better person than before. Hearing this, the king was very interested to hear about the Qur'an. Jafar, peace be upon him, was very smart. So, he started to read some sentences from the beginning of Surah Maryam. The king was so impressed that he started to cry. He realized that Islam was a true religion of God. So, he refused the Quraysh's request to force the Muslims to go to Mecca. So, did the bad people leave the Muslim alone? No, Amr and Abdullah were very upset. So they made another plan, then went to the king the next day. They told the king that Muslims don't accept Jesus as the son of God. King Najashi called the Muslims again and asked about their beliefs on Jesus peace be upon him. The Muslims were scared because they didn't know what to say about Jesus peace be upon him to the Christian king in front of them. Finally, they decided to tell what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their prophet had taught them. Then, Jafar peace be upon him said that Jesus peace be upon him was a servant and the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was born in a miracle without a father and his mother, Mary peace be upon her, was not a married woman. The king became very happy to hear that and said that they were right about Jesus peace be upon him. But the priest that was by the king did not like what they said and got very angry. The king said that it didn't matter if he was angry or not because the Muslims were right. 
The king guaranteed protection for the Muslims in his kingdom of Ethiopia and returned all of the gifts that the Quraysh gave. That was a very historic day for the Muslims because right then, Ethiopia became the first place that was safe for Muslims. So, did that Christian king become Muslim? Yes. Later, that good king became a Muslim with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings. Well, that's all for today. Inshallah, we'll see you next time. The Prophet Stories Assalamu alaikum. These series are going to have several episodes and it is all thanks to you for supporting us. You can donate today to help us make more Islamic content by giving us a one-time donation or becoming a monthly member for the whole thing.